Okay. All right, does anybody know what the name of this place is? That's Africa. I know that. That's right. That's Africa. But did you know that Africa is the place where the body of the first man was found? My daddy says that makes it the place where all people originated from. That means everybody who lived from Africa. Everybody. All y'all. Everybody. I'm from Africa. I'm from Crenshaw Mafia. <laughs> Um, some people say, you know, our children are struggling, uh, many are, you know, killing each other. Um, how is history important? How will it help them? Sometimes they ask this question. But, um, uh, you, say, you know, oh, go ahead. I'm here's, here's a simple answer. This is my philosophy of history. And I say this again and again and again. What you do for yourself depends on what you think of yourself. And what you think of yourself depends on what you know of yourself. And what you know of yourself depends on what you have been told. So if you are told 24-7 from cradle to grave that you come from nothing, that you don't have a history, or that your history begins in a jungle or with slavery on a plantation, you'll act that out. And so it will come as no surprise when we shoot each other down in the street when we knock each other in the head. You know, when the N-word and the B-word roll so easily off our tongues, when we have disrespect for the black woman, when your pants sag down to your ankles, if you are told you are nothing, this should not surprise anybody. But if you are told that you come from greatness, if you are told that you brought humanity to the world, culture to the world, civilization to the world, that you always resisted enslavement, that mm -hmm. divinity, that royalty runs through your veins, you will act that out too. And that's what we must convey to our people, especially our young people, that you come from a great legacy, a great legacy, that that is a part of our history and culture and tradition. And that is why this information is suppressed. That is why knowledge of who we are, whether it be ancient Egypt or the Moors in Spain mm -hmm. or black in China. That is why that information is suppressed, because we were not brought here to be a free and liberated people. We were brought here to be a perpetual race of slaves, and it's up to us to break that down. Carter G. Woodson, who we haven't talked about, is probably, I guess, properly credited with the advent of Black History Month, which began as Negro History Week, as you know, in 1926. And Dr. Woodson used to say, if you control a man's thinking, you don't have to worry about his actions. Yeah. And that's the issue. Our thinking is controlled by people who do not have our best interest at heart. So it's up to us to break that psychological uh, chain. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Indeed.